Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we have a parent form, which is a type of form. And we have a public property percentage, which is a type of percentages, which it is an enum. So it has a values or selection 10%, 15, 20, up to 30%. But as you can see, it is not allowed by Visual Studio. Uh, so to fix this, uh, we will remove the enumeration and we will change its uh, data type to string and we will set its editor. So let's just call it percentage drop down editor. And we will add this class. So let's just make it public. And we need to inherit the UI type editor. So from this uh, namespace. So first uh, we will override the get edit style. So we will just set it as drop down. Next, uh, we need the iWindows Forms Editor service. So let's just make it global. Uh, from this uh, namespace. So basically, uh, this is the server service responsible for the displaying Windows Forms and also drop down control in the properties window. So next step, we will override the edit value. So we will get the instance of the Windows Forms editor service using the provider. And uh, we will create a list box. So from uh, system.windows.forms. And we will just add the items or the selection. So 10% up to 30%. Next step. Uh, we will set the current value. So let's just add the checking if the value is not null. The next we will add an event. Uh, selected value change. Let's just add the checking if the service is not null. So basically, uh, we will just automatically close the drop down uh, once the user uh, select an item. Then next, we will show the drop down. Then uh, we will return the selected uh, item. 
So it's now done. Let's build and test. Uh, so we have a child form here, uh, which inherits our parent form. So let's just go to the design. So let's just select. So there it is. Let's just save and close the solution. Let's reopen again. Uh, let's go to the designer.cs and it works.